Hi, I'm Bobby Peer with Tap Into, and we are picking up our weekly catch up with Mayor Angie Devaney. Welcome, Angie. It's been a long time. Thank you. Unprecedented year. It's hard to keep a schedule, right? So we're picking back up. So I'm happy about that. Good. So, um, God, we're almost a year into the pandemic, mm -hmm. which is just shocking. Um, mm -hmm. We're we're seeing a lot of um, Facebook activity. I'll put it that way, where the elderly are so stressed out about getting their appointments and having um, just being able to get the vaccine. Can you walk me through how the town and uh, I know there's a lot of volunteers out there. How are you helping these seniors or any of the residents with this vaccine process of COVID-19? Right, so I have to credit you, Bobby. So we came in contact with uh, Chris Levins and I know there are a number of volunteers out there doing great things. So thank you to every single one of them. But Chris um, has had great success as, as per your story in getting appointments for um, pr primarily seniors you know, in, in not just in Union County, but, you know, in, in various counties. Um, Liza Viana, the township administrator, um, has been following up after he gets the appointment or been trying to get missing information, if there's missing information to Chris, calling those seniors and confirming. And then we have a, a network of volunteers um, to drive them because we find oh, that wow. they can't drive to some of these places. Um, you know, I think one of the closest place appointments was uh, in Chatham. So. The, the driving and getting them there is as big of a challenge as getting the online appointment. So um, we've been encouraging people, you know, to, especially if you have a parent, um, to call or email us. So the number is 908-464-2700, extension 2229. Um, so Liza uh, is the contact to get in touch with if someone is having an issue getting an appointment. Absolutely, absolutely. She's uh, 24 seven on this. <laughs> okay. Um, is there any other updates as to um, more availability? And uh, like, how do you feel about all of this um, with the state? Well, you know, I think everyone is frustrated because there was such a widening of eligible um, patients. And you know, I think there's an expectation that people would have access to vaccines and it hasn't been as available as I think we all had imagined that it would. Um, so we know that it's it's increased 30% since um, late January, uh, the number of vaccines that uh, facilities are getting like Union County at the Kane site. So they get about 1500 vaccines. Um, they have dedicated 25% um, to the call center that they opened up, which is really, um, really for seniors or people that didn't have the technology to go online. Um, and then of that 25%, they're prioritizing those over 65 and above. Um, they strongly encourage people to call Fridays and Saturdays. That's when their vaccine um, is, is more readily available or released, or they know how many is coming okay, if they're getting more. Good. Yeah, so call today. <laughs> yes, we'll get this out as soon as possible to the people. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, we're all fatigued. I mean, we've yeah. used that term in the past. Um, I still worry about um, the, the businesses and opening up and the schools and so forth. So let's hope that our numbers, our numbers seem to be low right now. Would you agree? Yeah, they are. We're seeing, you know, only a few cases, sometimes zero cases a day. That hasn't happened probably since midsummer. Um, so yeah, I'm, I am feeling good about that. I do think the vaccinations are catching up. I, I think some of the larger gatherings that happened that shouldn't have happened in the early part of the year have subsided. Um, so yeah, I think we're in a, in, in a fairly good spot. Good, and hopefully this weather, we can do without the snow right now. Let's bring the warmth in the spring. That's I, uh, what I'm I agree. <laughs> So now with government business, yes. um, we have the budget hearing coming up. Could you walk me through the process and what can we expect with the hearing on Monday? So just to, to look backwards for um, one minute uh, to 2020 budget, that was really tough. We didn't know what to expect. Um, our department heads, our CFO, myself and the council took a really conservative approach and that actually paid dividends. Because uh, we ended up with uh, $3.8 million in surplus, which hasn't happened in several, 
several years. Um, so that's a really good place to start. So what typically happens is in uh, November, department heads start meeting with uh, Liza Viana, the township administrator, and Eugenia Polos, the CFO, um, you know, as to their wish list, um, compare it to last year, justify any increases or decreases for that matter, um, and they start to put together by department uh, each, each budget. Um, after a period of time, that takes about two or three months, Eugenia um, kind of looks at the big picture, plugs in contractual salary uh, obligations, insurance, things that are really out of our control. Um, and that's a big part of our budget is, is just simply out of our control. And then once it gets to a point that it's um, in a 90%, in a, in a let's call it, um, you know, shape, um, the department heads uh, will have a budget hearing as we're having on Monday night before the mayor and council. Um, the department heads, the CFO and the administrator go through each department budget. I think we have eight or nine of them lined up for, um, for Monday night. Oh, wow. And then we, we take a look at it and see where we think things maybe could be cut. Um, typically we don't add, <laughs> I'll speak for myself. Um, and then we have another hearing on, uh, next Monday, the following Monday, um, to discuss our capital, uh, needs or wants. So it's the okay. same kind of process. Um, I, I know that the, um, bulk pickup is always a hot topic. Um, do we have any ideas of any cuts or uh, it sounds like we're not going to be adding anything. Uh, you know, you don't, you never know until you get into the, the to the public hearing, but I it typically, you know, I think we all try very hard not to add anything to the budget. Um, again, I think we had a really great year in terms of underestimating our revenues because we, 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 at the time we adopted the budget, we just didn't know the hotel occupancy tax, construction fees, uh, parking permits, all those things. Um, so we, we do have a good surplus going into, into this budget. So, um, and then it cuts or maybe just cost savings in the police department, as you know, we had a number of retirements all within a few months of one another. Um, that helps to contribute to our salary line item. Um, dispatch going over to the county, that's a significant um, you know, six figure savings that we now um, can realize this year. Um, so there are a number of things like that, um, that help um, more on the revenue and, and shared services cost savings side. Uh, as opposed to having to make any really big cuts and programs that people love so much. So, so what time is the public hearing and how can people access it? So it starts at seven o'clock and it's the uh, typical council Zoom that we use. Okay. Uh, that information is all posted on our website. Um, and so anyone can just log right on and, and listen in and ask questions. Well, that's a great update. And um, just one last question. The library. Where oh. where do we stand with that? Are we still in pandemic mode, so we can't open it to the public right now? Uh, we are definitely getting closer, but they had a lot of moving in to do, um, and we needed to get out of the old Little Flower buildings because we are getting very very close to closing with the Toll Brothers, um, which is great because that's ten point five million dollars that we need to have in in our hand by uh, March 9th when we need to to deal with our bond sale. Um, but the library, they have been setting up shelving. I'm, I'm there almost every day watching the progress and not just the shelving, but getting all of those books onto the shelf. It's a lot of work. 